Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, at the end of the last episode we're going to make some waste stones and some return scrolls. So let's do that first of all. So how many ender pearls have we got in here? We need quite a few, don't we? One. Okay, let's take a few stacks of this. Come over here. Of course the power will be increasing as I'm not using this thing now. So it had 15... What did it have before? 15 terabytes terabytes something like that this will soon this will soon come up that's actually while we're actually doing this let's remove these ones they're just now a waste of time we can recycle these to get the diamonds back and the obsidian because the speed it's going to take to these to work is negligible compared to the other two we've got plenty of spaces to stick more on and as it happens I've already made you see that's already done the first ender pearl so let's go back and decompose these. In fact, let's put them into here. They can then be decomposed one after the other, and we can get our stuff. That, see, that only gave me one this time. That's really the only thing. It's only really the diamonds we're interested in, isn't it? 30. That can be 10 diamonds, which is good because that's 10 for each of those. Let's let those do the job. And we can take the rest of this stuff out of here and put it away. And I've got one more to. Oh, I'll need to go and get that water. I haven't moved this across yet. Oops, I just decomposed that. Wasn't what I'd intended to do, never mind. So that'll be out of here, yes, of course, I need to remove these. And put those away. I think we'll put those away in here like that. And we can basically put the, the carbon and hydrogen in here anyway, so it's not a big deal. And the methylene we'll put into here as well. I think we've got plenty in there. Let's sort that out. Got all this. Loads of it. Which is fantastic, actually. So, right, where are we up to? I want to do this one, don't I? Ender pearls. I've got a few ender pearls already. 64. We need endstone. Let's go and do that. So we need a bucket. I only want one. got a bucket already. Good. And I want one stack of glowstone. I think one stack will do. Fine. We'll go downstairs. And we should come to our cobble generation part here. Ah, oh, what I do would also want is a. Let's just rem. Uh, let's just remove this anyway. I would like um, a hopper. Let's get a hopper. I probably got one is in already built. Let's just have a look. Yeah, got two. What we'll do is just put the hopper down there with some glowstone in it, and that'll make 64 endstone. And actually, bricks are going to be no problem at all. It's just a bit of a nuisance to, to hop those across. What do I want to do? Put the hopper over here, don't I? Oh, too near. And then to the hopper, we can put the glowstone. Let that go through, and that should end up in the bottom here. Uh, I think it should end up in here. Yes. And I don't think that'll go anywhere. But just in case it wants to go somewhere, let's just take a... What would come out of here normally it would be obsidian. Let's take one obsidian out of here and put that into this filter. So then the filter's got this obsidian in it. Let's put this filter into into here. Actually, that might not help. 17. I'll just leave it. So many got in here. 45. That's probably about right, isn't it? Oh, and I didn't connect these two up. Well, that's fair enough as well. So... What am I up to? 
I need to make some bricks now. This is the one that's a bit, bit more of a pain because I should have into here some dust. And I've got plenty of dust in there, so let's put buckets of water in there and get the buckets out of here again. I've got another four buckets in there. Let's move everything out of my hot bar so I can do this. In fact, it's coming up to night time. Not that it matters very much in here. We're fairly safe, so we'll put the water in here. 30 buckets. We'll just do a quick sort like that. And then we'll move these down to the bottom to the hot bar. And then we can get some more dust out of here. Make some clay. Now, how many do we need? We don't really know, to be honest with you, because there's a very you get a very amount of clay out of the out of these. Anyway, we need to get some more water. I wonder if I fill up my hot bar whether that would actually work. Let's try that. I mean, my inventory because it's a bit of a nuisance being able to do this. Let's just do it like this. Then when I next time I take it, maybe comes some tra straight into my hot bar. We need sixty-four bricks. Yes, we've got eleven there. eleven clay. Uh, we need to do that again, I reckon. Yep, that works nicely now. It's just a bit tedious doing this, but it doesn't matter very much. It's funny that the hopper actually picks it up. I find that quite amusing. I think we'll have enough after I've done this. How much water have we got in there? Five and a half milli buckets. Right, well, actually. So now we've got 26. Let's go and decompose that. We need basically, was it 32? Yes, we need 32. I think it gives me two each time, doesn't it? Let's take that off there. Yep. We can take those off to there and we get 64 clay. Is that enough for 64 bricks? It isn't, is it, by a long way? Because I've got to now cook this clay and to make into that um, some bricks. Oh, do you know, I've just been daft. I should have thought about that. Let's put this into there like that. See, this is going nice and fast now. We can make those directly, so let's go and do that. We'll have some more dust in the system. And by the time I've come in here, I reckon we've got some more water in here as well. I oh, know we haven't actually. Probably run out of um, what have I run out of? Probably it's full now with um, jars. I think with those two bits, of, and put them into here like that. So we've got plenty of dust for making into clay. We'll do is we'll go and get that out of there as well the jars out of here yep as I thought to have filled up the jars let's put the jars into here now what we can do and I should have to remember this in the first place if I decompose these now of course I've only got nine but now the uses of this Let's have a look at the uses of this. We can make it basically decompose it and synthesize it. So we can four can make a brick, which eight bricks. Oops, there should be another recipe for that. Oh, there's no recipe. Oh, but that saves me. That basically saves me doing anything else with them, doesn't it? So let's just do that then. 
So that'll give me 16 bricks. There should be some more clay in here as well. So I don't have to mess around too much. So there's no gain from that method, of course. So we need another hundred and oh, we need quite a few more bricks actually. But those are going quite nicely because what we can then do, of course, we can make the blocks of bricks. Well, that's only get bricks. That only give me sixteen, which is actually not enough. Twenty. And in here we've got another thirty-six, which is about just under nine. Just under ten is what I meant to say. And so we've got to come back in here and do some more clay. So how much have we got in here now? Ah, oh, seven buckets worth. Right, off we go again. To run out of water now, so I have to just live with that. So I'm going to basically have to come back and do this if I can't get the clay. Seven. Hmm. That's a piece of clay over there. I've got no. Yes, yeah, my magnets not in my hot bar. I should put that in my hot bar, shouldn't I? What have we got now? Eight clay. Let's decompose this and see if we can get some more bricks. This time it gives 18. Actually, that was a bit more generous than last time. So how many bricks is that going to give us? 27 plus 8. 35. Still, we need about 100 and something to go. Uh, so a quick calculation. It's 64. It's uh, quite a long way to go to get the this one. Have we got anything in there? No. Okay, it's so basically got to make wait for some more water. It's going up slowly, but I wonder if that's full again. Could be. We get quite a lot out of. Yes, it is indeed. We get quite a lot. How much have we got in here? Oh, plenty. Look at that. We should have enough to do all of this. Let's put the up others in here to start with. So what we can do now do is we can have a look at um, this recipe. Ten ender pills and ten books. We'll make the ten books while we're waiting for the, the water to come through. Now, what do we need for that? I can't remember its name. It begins with a K, doesn't it? Potassium chloride. Uh, this one, the carotene. So we need two of these. That'll give me ten pieces of leather, which will make ten books. We should have plenty of paper. Well, we've got access to plenty of paper. Let's look. Paper. Twenty-seven. That'll give me nine. As it happens, but it doesn't matter very much. Oh, I need the leather, don't I? I forgot to make the leather. That's a fairly easy recipe to remember. I think it is one in the middle, isn't it? Yes. So all we now need is how much are we doing? How are we doing for end pulse? We've got a stack and a half, probably not enough as it happens. Let's go and get some more of this ender powder. Oh, can't do it. Let's do it like this. Let's put the ten here so we can get the books. Nine books. We just need, need some more paper, which you can get from. Um, can, oh, what's it called? Sugar cane. Move that away. Not looking at the three pieces of paper I need to make the tenth book. And we'll go and get another stack of this for the end of stuff. I think that'll do. We'll take another one actually, just for a good measure. We've got 25 ender pulls. What do we need? 32. So 
a wither bit of luck. The goal is to make these two items today. So we should have some more water in here. Let's get that water out of here first of all. Five. Put that over like that. And let's get the water going again. One. That's weird, it's floating around. Oh, because my inventory is full, of course. Let's just move the books out of there like that. Which I'm surprised that's not being picked up by the by the hopper. Because it was until now. Good thing. Alright, we run out of there, so that's what we need to get some more out of there. What's, the, what's wrong with this thing? Two, five. Can I say this is a, a weeny bit tedious, but it's one of these things. I'm not sure how to actually automate that, to be honest with you. Let's get rid of that recipe from there, and then okay, let's put this like that, wasn't it? Decompose these. So I've only got 14. Fifty-nine. There'll be something here, I guess. Sixty-four. It's another sixteen, isn't it? So forty-five. So basically, we just need another uh, forty-eight, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen or thereabouts. So we'll have to come in here and get the these out of it. The only problem here is just these, isn't it? Getting rid of these. Otherwise. That automation would be quite good. I can hear some zombies, of course, because it's night time, isn't it? Let's just go and have a quick sleep. Have a quick look outside. And go through there. I've got one. I don't know where that came from. Have I got any weapons with me? This is the one I want to use. Let's go and bash at these two creepers. <laughs> well, he blew up and killed the and killed the zombie. That was quite neat. Come on, get it, guys. It'll take three hits to get us rid of this, or four hits to get rid of this creeper. It's a bit of a nuisance. And that was all that's not died over here. Let's go and get his. Anything else interesting around here? Well, if there is, it'll be nearer to the base, won't it? But it's been actually quite a while since I've been outside. I've not checked. Oh look, they must have been in range of the of the weaponry. I've not checked. The um, the quarry for a while. It's probably making quite a decent sized hole now. Well, it doesn't look as though it's completely loaded up either. There we are. Oh, actually, it's not too bad at the moment. It's not gone down that far yet, has it? And it's working quite nicely. Digging up. What I should do, of course, is to move these move them up higher so that they actually reach the evening sun as well I thought about doing that just put them on a big bit of cable I suppose so up we go I've got this thing all I need to do is this of go like that and let's pick up the arrow so next thing let's get rid of these we don't need these that up there and then get two more buckets because we're still in some water of course three and a half buckets and here we go again let's put those like that 
in our bucket. Of course, it's going to be filling it with things. So let's get rid of that as well. It is a bit. It is a bit of a pain. This I must be honest with you. But five, nine. That's just two and a bit, wasn't it? It's not so great. Ten. How many bricks have we got now? Eleven. Oh, more. Another eight. Nineteen. We still need another stack anyway, so that's that bit. Oh, gosh. Let's change my oxygen while I'm thinking about it. Do you know, I really should do this off camera, shouldn't I? So what else can we do? While we're actually waiting for those that water to go through, let's put that into there like that. Actually, we should have the other two buckets now. Get those out of there like that. Oops, didn't work. I'll put these into here. And... Right, three. Three? We should have five. Oh, I think it's just because I'm... Still another three. Probably something here. Another two in there, yes, that's right. Then we get the other three from here, that's okay. One... So we get those eight, and it goes on. So anyway, what have we got in here? So the enderpoles are getting made nicely. So I think it was books, wasn't it? So we can put those in here, those in here, and enderpoles. Oh, Fourteen. And then we can make our return scroll. Ten of those. There we go. I'll just put those in there. Let's click that one on. I don't need the fuel loader anymore. So that'll come through there after it makes the ender pearl. So the only thing I'm short of, oh, we need the end stone, of course. Let's go and get that as well. Where will it be? It's going to be over here. If have a look, it'll be in this one. 63. So another one somewhere about. So there should be 64. Where's my last one gone to? I'll tell you what, that's a bit of a nuisance. We'll have to go and get a, another one. I don't know how I managed to lose one. Oh, glowstone. What we can do is make another stack of that. In fact, let's just take a stack and one. Make two stacks. I oh, should have another one in here. Oh, that was fairly fast, wasn't it? So that's the 64 close uh, end stone that we need. I'll put those into there. So all we now need is the we need some ender pulls for this, of course. I'm not sure exactly how many. It was 16, I think. It's funny, you shift click and it doesn't, it doesn't go up. But I've got enough of this one. So let's go and get that one sorted out. We've got plenty of end pulls. Ender pulls, let's take those. So we just need the bricks. How are we doing for water? Okay, I don't need that, and I don't need that in there. So we need to get rid of those, and we can get rid of these. Let's get this done, and first of all. Eleven. So. Decompose it first, of course. The better the luck, it'll give us a nice return, but I bet it doesn't. 15. Now that was a poop one. 17, that'll give me 4. 43. And 8, 51. Still not enough. How many have we got now? I 
Another 12. Can't be very far off now. Oops, 44, 57. Okay, so, so we need a basic, not that much more actually. Good. We'll take this, we can do the return scrolls off. And the ender pulse is already finished. We've got our 10 return scrolls. So let's go and we'll basically just need the water. So that means getting rid of this. And I really should have automated this, shouldn't I? Well, I'm going to, don't worry. It's my highest priority task to do is to automate the production of water because it's actually the one of the things we can't it's actually not that easy to automate that's a rubbish place as well let's put those into where i put, put me putting the others which was in here so i need two is that still working yes it is but it's slow so let's do these two while we're thinking about it. That's weird, I don't understand. This hopper's been catching it for ages and now all of a sudden it doesn't catch it anymore. Which in fact is actually what I prefer anyway, so there we are. So we've got some more water in here and this is taking a long time. Let's put away these ender pearls. the clay like that and let's take these across that time we did catch the two very strange how many do we need by the way I've forgotten already four Well, maybe five will do. Let's just see if we can get enough clay from the five. Twelve, actually, that was better than average. It'll give me another three. It'll be 24 more. So that'll give me another eight. And we need another four plus three, seven. Okay. Oh, one brick short. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? That's 50, 63. So we just need one more brick. So we can, I think we can do that now. Just one bucket of water, one piece of clay. Just look onto the hopper. Oh, we've got two now. Okay. Could have done it last time without doing that. We we'll decompose these anyway. We get four, which is enough for exactly another eight. And now we have our last brick. So we should be able to complete this quest now. Let's just put that into there. 64, 64 and 16, I think it was. Let's take these. Oh. Let's go and get that another few. There we have our waste down. So how long how much is that going to require? Sixty six million. I'll take a few seconds, but not too long. I think we're going to get some more ender powder as well to get that going as well. So let's have a look at the ender powder stuff. In fact, let's put these buckets in here. So we have a splice of water. Five stacks. A long time since I've actually completed any quest, so let's get rid of some of this junk I've got on there I don't really want. Let's 
press R and sort my inventory and then we can put the stuff away. Bricks, chests, maybe I keep those with me. Return scrolls I want and the rest of the stuff I'll keep with me. It's the stuff that we need so that's good. But I've got a feeling I might be exporting that glass straight into here. I am, look. So it's coming straight into there making gravel. How are we doing now? Not quite there yet. But just a few more seconds and then we have completed this quest by the looks of it. How long is it going to take? 30,000 RF per tick. So what do I do? Well, let's just run doing that. Let's just have a look downstairs. I want to check this out to make sure we've got plenty of power in here. All right, it's not too bad at the moment. It's gone down a bit. About, about one to, <laughs> oops, one billion RF or something left, daft like that. And there, so there it should be done. Great, let me get our waystone. So now let's claim those quests. Stars align, isn't it? This one here. So we can click this one and we can detect submit, claim, and we get a second waystone as a, as a reward. So use the rockets to fly to Mars. <laughs> it's spelled wrong. You should really bring along a warp scroll bound at the waystone home to get back to the moon. Else you need to infrastructure and power to refuel the rocket back and fly back to Mars. The waystone is the easiest mode. You could die on Mars, so it's a good idea to bring another waystone and bind some warp scrolls, I presume warp scrolls of these, there and send them along with your rocket back to the moon base via the ender chest you brought along. So we have to bring an ender chest along as well, okay. This could prevent a lot of tears, but well, you're not a free you are not a free person with free choices, huh? Okay. So we've done that. No, I'll just detect some mitts clicked and we've done it already. Done that one. So what's that opened up for us? A new quest. We have to make a refinery. Refinery? We've already made a refinery, haven't we? But we haven't made a refinery plus we made a refinery plus. I think that's the one. I'll tell you what we'll do. Well, I run out of time, but I'm gonna have a quick check, see if this is the one it wants. Because it looks similar, doesn't it? Um, can I shift right click and shift right click it? Let's just detect if I can actually detect this quest. No, it wants a standard refinery. Well, oh, that's actually a bit strange. I think the order's a bit weird. So let's look at quickly what the re recipe for a refinery is. So it'll be this one. Busy factory refinery. Turning, oh, this is actually very straightforward. Iron plates. So, I'm going to save that until next time. So, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with these waystones as well. So, until next time, bye for now.